Hello, my name is Scott Danberg. I'm here with Challenged Athletes Foundation, and I have here with my good friend, Justin Fongsvon, I'm an F54 Paralympic seated thrower. We're here to talk to you and demonstrate for you the proper positions for a front facing seated throw. What Justin is going to demonstrate for us is that he's here in the frame and as the coach and even Justin himself what he has to pay attention to are what are the rules and the specific points that he has to watch in strapping himself into the frame so he avoids violations. First and foremost his knee or the back of his knee specifically has to be against the throwing frame. His thighs and his buttocks have to remain in contact with the throwing frame throughout the duration of the throw. How do we accomplish that? First we secure his feet by having them behind this foot hook. We have a Velcro strap across the front of his knees, drawing his knees and actually in contact with the throwing frame. We have a second Velcro strap holding his thighs tightly down to the top or the surface cushion of the throwing frame, as well as a ratchet strap holding his hips and actually drawing them back into the frame itself. From here, he's in a very secure position and will avoid any type of lifting violations. Now we're going to get Justin secure in the frame from a throwing position aspect, ready and prepared to throw the shot put. What we have to address is how is he going to hold the throwing bar? What's very important is that your non-dominant arm or your blocking arm remains in the same plane as your throwing arm. So Justin would ensure that first and foremost that non-dominant arm is going to be at that same angle as the throwing arm. He would grab the holding bar at that point. From there, once he has his shot put in place, nice good posture, high chest, he would be now prepared to address his implement, hold it if you will, get it in the right position, and throw the implement. That is the correct positioning for a front-facing throw.